How's it, Ganon lads? Marshall here, and welcome to the review of the Syrian Ibrahimovic, who coincidentally costs more than Ibra bloody Himovic. It is Al Soma. Guys, if you do want any cheap MSP, PSN, head over to jdoa.com, use that code M89, get yourself a discount, every single link you'll need, right there in the description below. He's got the four star skills, he's got a four star weak foot, he's got medium to medium work rates, he is six foot four tall, he scored seven in five, base card stats look amazing, 80 pace, 72 dribble, not the greatest in the world, 90 shooting and 88 physical, however, his balance is shot. It's so damn bad, it's ridiculous. Take a gander at this. 33 balance, 38 agility, so his dribbling is affected by that. However, he does have 98 strength, 86 positioning, and 89 jumping. 72 aggression, 79 ball control, 88 curve. Dribbling, not the greatest in the world, at 76. He's got 92 finishing, however, 95 free kick accuracy, 94 heading accuracy, and 95 shot power. So, this card, as you would imagine, is all about the power. But strength is a speciality. However, I don't have that as a pro, simply because his balance is that bad. Honestly, when you're on the dribble, he gets pushed off the ball. He gets pushed off the ball easily. If you're standing still and you wish to shield the ball, you'll do that very well. For a header, you'll jump very well. On the dribble, he's not very strong and he will lose the ball. Hence why balance is a corner, strength isn't a pro. In terms of the pros though, we have long shots. This guy from range has a sniper on him. You've seen it there with the finesse strike. You can go for the finesse shots, you can go for the power shots, you can hit on his right, you can hit on his left. He's got a four star weak foot. Honestly lads, it does not matter. And in terms of finishing, this guy can finish in any which way possible, whether that be with the power shot, whether that be with the finesse, like the long shots, whether that be with the head, he's very good in the air, he will win headers, he's good at getting into space inside the area to receive the ball. This one again is another header, his movement's great, it really is, he gets the head, what a header that is, right in the back of the net, and heading has to be a pro as well, but I don't have it on the list. Skills, he's got four star skills, so you can pull off some crazy skills in game, well, not too crazy, but you know what I'm talking about. Four star skills. It's useful for any card in this game, let alone a striker. And his positioning is very good. I touched on it a second ago. He's always in the right place, at the right time, every time. Whether that be for the cross, whether that be him dropping deep to receive the ball, whether that be him on the last man, he's very good at doing that. Now, in terms of cons, we have agility. That affects this guy's dribbling so damn much. Four star skills is a pro, however, dribbling isn't because of that agility. It turns like a fucking tractor. It does your bloody nutting because you want him to be silky on the ball. You want him to take on players. He's got four star skills. Unleash the Al Summer, but he doesn't have the agility for the dribble, and the dribble and stat isn't very good either. And his balance, you want him to be strong on the dribble. He's not, he's weak, and he will lose the ball at any single physical confrontation. Overall, lads, I'd buy Ibrahimovic. I wouldn't buy our summer, but he is a good card. I would recommend you buy him for the price he's at at this moment in time. So you will get a value of coins of an 8.4. He's quite cheap for a team of the season, and he's going to get an overall rating of an 8.0. Lads, I hope you have enjoyed this review. If you have, smash the hell out of that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you are new around here, lads. And as always, I will catch you all next time.